Falling overboard my crooked pilot house has been one of my biggest concerns while the engine is being engaged forward and seeing your boat disappearing into the deep blue ocean. Using the kill switch the boat came with is not an option due to sometimes you have to leave the helm for a quick moment. But there's a solution for this. Now some of my viewers have seen and recommended me the MOB Plus by Fel Marine wireless kill switch. But some of my viewers have never seen it, how it works. I will show you this amazing product that is going to change the way you look at boating. Okay, today's video, I got something exciting to show you guys. I'll be installing this safety system, the MOB Plus wireless man overboard system. And once you connect this parallel to your uh, kill switch, uh, this little wireless device here, you can put it on a necklace and the MOB Plus fob could go in here. You can put it on your hand wrist like a watch. Or there's a clip adapter that you can also get and you can adapt it to your uh, life vest. Every time you have your life vest on, the MOB Plus will be connected to it. And this will be your wireless kill switch. The reason I got this is because I'm running around the boat sometimes and I'm not supposed to. It's not safe. And I encourage people always to be safe on their boats. It's very important, especially when you're alone. Um, if you fall, then your boat is gonna keep on going and that's gonna be a problem. In this system, you can put about four wireless devices. You can even attach it to a pet. If your pet falls overboard, it will shut off. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna install it. I would like to install it here where this 12 volt adapter is and move the adapter next to it here because I really want this adapter here. I installed it uh, several months ago. So I will put it here and the uh, wireless kill switch right here. So that way it will be here parallel to the kill switch on here. So that will work out perfect. I already checked the back. I do have room to move this uh, 12 volt to here. Okay, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the power to the boat and I'm gonna remove this 12 volt adapter here from the other side. I have this out. Perfect, right center. Since this dash has fiberglass, plywood, and fiberglass again, I'm gonna paint the cavities I made here with paint to seal it. That way there's no future uh, humidity or water intrusion inside these holes. Even though there's no water intrusion in this cabin, but you never know if I ever leave this window open, I don't want water in here. So I already opened the uh, 12 volt outlet hole here, so I'm gonna paint this here. I just paint the intrusion. I know I'm gonna make a little mess here, but I'll clean it up. That's to prevent the wood from opening later. Just making a little bit of mess. It's okay, I'll clean it. All right, so the holes are already sealed with paint. And I'm just gonna let it dry. Now that the paint is completely dry, unscrew it. It has a seal right here. In. I'm going to go now to the other side and tighten it with the washer here.
Now I'm going to connect the wiring harness. Now that I have the wire harness here, it's good because it reaches all the way to my uh, kill switch and also here for the electronic positive and uh, negative on the other side. So it reaches perfect. And now what I'm going to do now is connect the antenna. And while I'm here, I'm going to connect also my uh, 12 volt. Okay, I need to connect my positive here, and just my negative here. All right, my 12 volt adapter is already connected. Now I need to connect the MOB plus to the existing kill switch, which is right here. Now I'm gonna disconnect the kill switch. Now here, we're not gonna use this blue cable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cap it. They provide us here a cap. The blue cable is more for the uh, Volvo motors. All right, so I finished the connection, strapped everything really good, and I added a fuse block because it does request a fuse block, uh, one to three amps uh, to protect the system. And the instructions are very simple. So I don't think anybody will have a problem installing this themselves if they know how to do a little bit of wiring. All right, that's it, the antenna's connected, everything's connected. All right, and this is how it looks, very easy to reach right next to the steering wheel and the kill switch on the bottom so perfect i'm going to power up the system so now i got the wireless device and all i got to do now is connect the battery so now we're going to pair it see it's blue now it's looking for the bluetooth and now we're going to press the uh, mob there it is so right now it's connected to this one. Now that I'm gonna start the engine, I'm going to press on my uh, wireless device. There is this green, and it shows you one fob is connected. All right, the engine is on. It shows that it's one controller, and if you have several, it will light up on the different size here. Now I'm gonna walk around the boat with a fob to see if uh, it shuts off when I'm around the boat. I'm all the way in the front of the boat. All right, now I'm gonna get off the boat. All right, and I have a bucket of water here. I'm gonna throw the fob in. And the engine is shut off. Very good. And the boat shut off about 60 feet. Now I'm gonna do it from the back side of the boat. There's a different light blinking here. It's a yellow light. All right, so I'm gonna press my fob again. All right, now it's red. And I'm gonna press my fob again one more time. Now it's green. All right, my engine is on again. All right, so the engine is on. Now I'm gonna walk behind the boat. All right, I believe I'm about 50 to 60 feet. And I'm gonna throw the fob into the water. All right, they shut off right there. So about 50, 60 feet, the unit will shut off. The reason it works better when it hits the water is because you lose interference uh, easier when it's in the water. So 50 to 60 feet, shuts off. Perfect. So it's working perfect. And anywhere on the boat, if I want to use the fob to shut it off, 
See how easy? I shot up the whole motor with this. Very simple. The reason it gives you a radius is because that way you can move around the boat. But once you fall in the water, you'll lose contact with the system's antenna. So perfect installation of the Fell Marine MOB Plus. It's an excellent device. I do recommend it highly, um, especially uh, if you're going to be up there deep sea fishing and you're heading out there by yourself or with family members, you can attach one of these to your family members or a pet if you like. Uh, extra safety. And I wanted to show it to all my viewers because this is such an important safety device. I didn't know this was in the market out there, like I said. Um, once I knew this was out there, I had to get one. And also, you can bypass this system. There's a connector in the back. So this is one option if you want to bypass the system right away. Just disconnect the harness and connect this plug on. It has a connector. That would bypass the whole system and then you'll be able to use your boat like factory. I hope you found this video helpful and I will place the link in the description below of the system that I have and also the accessories so if you want to check them out. I highly recommend it because now myself I will be a lot safer at sea if I fall from the boat or if I'm trolling this will be a great device to have on because the engine is moving between 5 to 8 miles per hour and if I fall off this will shut off your engine just like this. See that how easy it is? Once it has contact with the water, uh, it loses the range from the antenna if you're like 50 to 60 feet away from the boat. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and navigate safe.